Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Focused on being a direct service supplier to local customers, German forklift manufacturer Young Heinrich has officially relaunched its South African offices in Gauteng. And Ian Killian tells us more. Young Heinrich board member Dr. Lars Broska said that the company was previously a small operation in South Africa and that it had decided to expand its services exponentially. The most uh, important thing is that we're now having an own direct sales and service company here in South Africa. This is uh, of high benefit for our customers as we now can serve our customers much better than in the past. We're investing a lot. Um, we brought here the best people we can get uh, we increased uh, our rental fleet, um, we increased number of team members, especially in services, and we also invested uh, into spare part stocks. He also noted that the company took over assets and people from its former partner BME and brought these assets into the new establishment and invested a lot throughout the country to bring quality and efficiency to its South African customer base. He added that bringing trust to its customers and potential customers in South Africa was a significant challenge facing the company. Potential is everywhere. Um, we have a wide portfolio, uh, starting from a very small uh, hand pellet truck up to um, offering of logistic systems, uh, fully automated warehouses. So we can offer it all. Uh, we can do it all also here in South Africa. And the market is there. There's a big market for IC trucks, but there's also a big market for warehouse technology and uh, electric counterbalance trucks and we can offer not only the products but also the service, uh, financing, rental solutions for that. So uh, we are ready to be the partner, the right partner for everything in South Africa. Meanwhile, Broska highlighted several trends that were driving the industry, noting that customers were shifting from using internal combustion or IC trucks to electrical trucks. The first one is um, the change from um, a big IC truck segment to the electrical segments. So uh, people are using more and more electrical trucks um, than before. Uh, the second is um, the digitalization. So software, software interfaces play a major role now in this tree. And the combination, uh, the connection of all the different components via interfaces and software is of high importance uh, for the efficiency, efficiency and productivity for our customers. He added that suppliers would need to diversify, delivering outstanding performance to survive this new trend. Broska also highlighted that many manufacturers were leapfrogging from the IC sector to the lithium-ion counterbalance truck market. He added that the company would deliver its first lithium-ion counterbalance truck at German trade fair CMAT this year. Other news making headlines this week. South African and Tunisian researchers display potential of light to increase bandwidth. Free State poised to be helium pioneer as gas developments unfold and there is a need for greater focus on local welding skills. Researchers from Wits University and the CSIR have published their findings in a study that shows it is possible to increase bandwidth using the patterns of light used in optical communications links. The discovery and proposed exploitation of a natural gas dome containing methane 
and some of the highest concentrations of helium in the world in the Free State has created much excitement and visions of a local gas hub. We've recently con uh, completed construction of our first compression station and uh, we've compressed South Africa's first onshore natural gas, which is a, which is a major milestone. So for the rest of the year, we basically are running through the motions of proof of concept to show that the, um, that, uh, that the concept works by delivering gas to our first client in the form of Megabus. And from here, we are running through the motions of our envi environmental impact assessment, which will see us obtain approvals for the construction of a pipeline to reticulate our network um, of gas wells to one centralized point for processing. The lack of good quality artisanal skills in South Africa, specifically welding skills, calls for a bigger focus on the development of training schools. Look, it's pretty unfortunate uh, the commodities downturn. We all generally think that it's not going to last. It's mm -hmm. probably going to be a short to medium term thing. Mm -hmm. But it has certainly affected the way we do business and the volumes of business we're getting, Con considering mines are not investing in capex as much and that's kind of our bread and butter. Uh, even in the rail sector, you know, people like Transnet aren't buying as or building as much as they should be or as, as they would like and so we're not cutting and bending and fabricating as much as we would like for them. So it's a spiral effect and it, it, it's unfortunate. It's a macroeconomic thing. We can't do anything about it. We just need to weather the storm. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.